It's easy and fairly common to look at the Eastern Bloc and USSR's fall as one single chain of events, but while there are certainly common themes and factors, the situation in each Eastern Bloc country had its own internal factors. The Polish leader as of 1968, Gomułka, was seen as at least a bit of a positive reformer, but his support of the Warsaw Pact's military intervention against liberalization in Czechoslovakia under Alexander Dubček in what was called the Prague Spring weakened his position, with Poland is awaiting a Dubček of its own becoming a popular slogan. More directly, by the end of 1970, workers in port cities including Gdansk, Gdynia, and others not starting with G began to strike, following announcements of increased food prices and leading to Gomolka being ousted. By July 1980, following even more price hikes and strikes, an electrician named Lech Walesa at the Lenin shipyards in Gdansk led 16,000 workers in forming a new trade union, winning a new right to organize separately not just from employers but also from the government, naming this new union Solidarity. The Kremlin called a Solidarity Conference in Gdansk an anti-socialist and anti-Soviet orgy. In December 1981, Solidarity was banned and martial law was imposed by Polish Secretary Jaruzelski, moving the organization underground. By 1988, Solidarity was again responding to massive inflation and debts with strikes and protests, opening Jaruzelski to negotiate with Walesa, leading to not just the re-legalization of Solidarity itself, but also elections, definitely helped by Gorbachev's less reactionary policies from the Kremlin causing less fear of reprisals. While only 35% of the lower house called the same was up for election, the entire Senate was, and opposition groups won every allowed same seat, along with 99 of the 100 Senate seats, forcing Jaruzelski to allow non-communist party members to form the first government under Prime Minister Matsovietsky. A presidential election was technically held in 1989, though Jaruzelski was the only candidate running, so he unsurprisingly won. But in 1990, Lech Walesa ran as Solidarity's candidate and was elected president. 